Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be putting the Rectech 700 through its paces again, and then we're going to be doing a double smoked Smith Anytime ham steak. Now we've double smoked whole hams before, but we're going to be preparing a ham steak today on the Rectech 700. So hey, hang around, don't go nowhere, and watch and see how we get this thing done. Okay guys, so the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe is some yellow mustard, some non-stick spray, your favorite rub, in this instant we're using Rectech Honey Rib Rub, and your favorite whiskey. We're using Crown Royal Maple, bringing back an old retired favorite. So what we have here is one fourth cup of dark brown sugar and we're adding about two tablespoons of yellow mustard. Mix the yellow mustard and the brown sugar together well until you have a paste consistency. Next, add two tablespoons of your favorite whiskey, mix well, and put the glaze into the refrigerator for later use. And here's the star of the show, a 1.6 pound Smithfield ham steak. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little yellow mustard to act as a binder. Not much, just enough to hold the rub. Next we're going to generously add your favorite rub. In this instance, we're using Rectex Honey Rib Rub. Once one side is done, flip your ham steak over and repeat the process. Be sure that whatever rub you're using does not have a heavy salt content. Your ham steak will come out overly salty because it's already been cured. Place the ham steak in your smoker at 245 degrees for one hour. After an hour of cook time, take your glaze from the refrigerator and spread it generously across the ham steak. Glazing one side of the ham steak should be plenty. Once the ham steak is glazed, close the lid and smoke for an additional 30 minutes. Alright guys, so we're finished with our cook. Here's our double smoked ham steak with our uh, whiskey brown sugar glaze, okay? We uh, cooked it initially for one hour with uh, our, just our seasoning on it. And then we uh, coated it with our glaze and then we let it cook for another 35 to 40 minutes so the glaze could uh, melt and then to adhere to the ham, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and have a taste test. We're gonna see how it all came out, all right? Definitely smells smoky. You can see the seasonings from that honey rib rub from Rectech all over it. I just gotta have a taste. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. 
This is fantastic. It tastes just like your holiday ham. It's got nice sweetness to it. The uh, the brininess from the curing of, of the uh, ham process, the mustard, the brown sugar, and the whiskey. I can definitely taste the maple Crown Royal whiskey, man. This is a fantastic cook. Got to get another bite. Oh my goodness. Well, this is a fantastic cook. So I'm gonna eat this later on with some potato salad that we have uh, in the refrigerator and a nice cold beer. So this should be really, really good. So, well, that's all we have time for today. Uh, hey, if you guys are interested in a Rec Tech Grill, check out the guys at rectechgrills.com. They got some fantastic smokers out there. Also check out their rubs. They got some fantastic rubs. This was their honey rib rub that we put on a ham. Honey rib rub goes on pork, right? So tastes fantastic, okay? If you want all the uh, ingredients to the glaze, I'll put it down in the description block, okay? And other than that, that's all there is to it, okay? So, hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. As always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Ooh. Talk about good. Mm. Nothing like a little ham to brighten your day. Mm.